See, what happens is I get lazy with my budget. Yes, even I do. And uh, the last couple months, I went to Hawaii, and it went like out of control. And so what do I do? I, I lead a financial path piece, and that's how I get back into smart money decisions. So, okay. Let me just stop. stop here we go. All right, we're ready. Fill in the blanks. Okay, society is addicted to axioms, and axiom is a belief that perpetrates through time. So just because our grandparents believed it, we think the same is true, right? And so it's, it, it goes through generation to generation. And so we saw that with credit cards, right? Credit cards are the smart way to build credit, but now all of a sudden there's this new kind of movement where we now think credit cards are evil, right? So it's starting to catch on. My hope is that our children's children just get rid of credit cards altogether. And so we also saw this belief with the world being flat, right? And it was years until they, they discovered that the- It's still a thing. I know it's still a thing. <laughs> My fiance's neighbor's a part of that group. <laughs> I'm like, he lives in Willow. That's, I mean, I'm just dating. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have another axiom, and that's sales minus expenses equal profits. Right? That's what we've always been told. Sales minus expenses, what, are the, what is left over is what we as business owners get to take. As a result of this, and I see this every single day, and this statistic is very true, 83% of businesses survive check to check. And I see that with my clients that work for businesses where they came in and you know now they don't have a job anymore because the business shut down, a couple of their last paychecks bounce. And I see this with my corporate owners too, that their payroll could be 60 grand in a month and they only have 20,000 sitting in their corporate bank account. And so this is a very true fact. Um, and so over the years, I've been telling you guys, all right, let's look at profit and loss statements, let's do budgets, let's look at cash flows, let's check out our balance sheet. And exactly what you're all doing to me right now, you all look at me with that blank stare, like what? Instead, what you do is now we're addicted to our mobile apps, our banking, and before you make a big business decision, what do you do? You open up your bank account and you check your balance. And if there's money in there, if there's $10,000 in there, you decide to go to the $5,000 Tony Robbins seminar, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna change this around and we're gonna say sales minus profits equal expenses. So I know that's kind of crazy, sales minus profits equal expenses. Like you want me to take money out for myself first? That sounds like a backward way of thinking. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna show you through a fun game we put together through you guys, for you guys, like how that actually works. And so this is, we're gonna do this by setting up five bank accounts, okay? Our first bank account is, think about Thanksgiving. It's kind of our serving tray, right? So for Thanksgiving, if you've ever hosted a Thanksgiving, I haven't, because I'm a horrible cook and no one would come. But you get a giant platter and you get this beautiful turkey, right? And then what do you do? You don't just put the turkey in the middle of the table and back up and let everyone free for all rip it apart. No, there's someone that sits there and beautifully slices that turkey and then they pick that turkey up and they allocate it to the people sitting around the table to much smaller plates, right? So that's our income account. We're gonna think about that as a serving tray. Income's gonna come into that big account like a serving tray. Then we're gonna allocate out the money to our other four smaller bank accounts, okay? So income comes in, that account gets up to 100 grand, and then on a certain day each month, we're gonna allocate that money out, we're gonna bring the income account down to zero, and we're gonna put that 100 grand out into our other four small accounts. So five foundational accounts, if you will, plates of profit first. So we just talked about this, our income account is our serving tray only. You only deposit into it, and then you allocate money out of it to the other smaller accounts. That's a fill in the blank. Okay, first account is gonna be our profit account. Yes, profit first. Everything you need to achieve is profitability in the business, right? The next account is our tax account. And this one's a very important one for us real estate agents, right? Because come April 15th, we want to be prepared rather than you guys hate to come see me. I get compared to going like to see the dentist. I hate that. 
So we want to make it fun where you're like, yes, I saved more than I actually owe. Great. Right? So that we're gonna we're gonna every single sale that comes in, we're gonna allocate out to our tax account. Owners pay. So there's two, as a business owner, there's two things. I get paid for actually doing the work, right? I have my own client base, I prepare my own corporate tax returns, and as an employee, I should get paid for that type of work. So that would be owner's pay, paying me for that type of work. Then I also took the risk of being a business owner, right? The blood, sweat, and tears what keeps us awake at night. If you have employees, worrying about your employees, your team members, worrying about your clients. For taking that risk, I also get rewarded for that, but that's profit. So two ways I get paid. Owner's comp for being an owner and working as an employee inside my business, and then profit sharing for reaping the rewards of taking that risk. Owner's pay is working inside the business for me doing tax returns. For you, that's doing the paperwork, that's getting in front of the clients, that's making the sales, that's driving to pick up signs, that's owner's pay. Ask questions if you have them. And then the next account is gonna be our operating account, and our operating account is all the expenses that it takes to run the business. So for me, that's paying my team members, that's health insurance for my team members, that's 401k for my team members, that's printing and ink and utilities and my rent for my business. So all of that money comes out of the operating account. So again, five bank accounts. Income is our serving tray, and then we have our four other smaller bank accounts that we allocate money out at a certain point in time every single month. 